What's up guys, Frederick here, and I have some big news for you guys. We just announced our brand new Rockstar Energy Drink Toyota Racing Supra, the A90 Mark V Supra for Formula Drift competition. And today I'm gonna to give you guys my personal point of view, my beliefs, the reasoning behind why we chose this car, and fill in where my amazing team owner and crew chief and boss Stefan Papadakis have made some fantastic videos going over the build of the car. Check this out. All in all, this car has become such a menacing looking monster. And uh, for me, it's all come full circle at this point. You know, I started off racing and drifting Supras in the drifting scene in Northern Europe. This is Chucky, the Japan Auto Mark IV Supra that my friends and I shipped to the United States in 2008. 2010, we became Rookie of the Year in Formula Drift with this car, and that led to my contract with Scion at the time, as well as Stefan Papadakis and his team. So the Supra nameplate holds a lot of, of sentimental value, and, uh, and it's an important part of my life. So to be back in the Mark V is a huge deal for me personally. I still have four Mark IV Supras. My ice practice car. We have Tailspin, the Rat Rod. We have my fiance Hunter's drift car. And then I have a spare chassis for whenever I smash up one of them. So being a Toyota driver and having been a Toyota factory driver since 2011, when Toyota announced the Mark V Supra, the first reaction was, heck yeah. I really, really, really want to do everything I can to make sure that we're going to end up with, with one of these cars for drift use. But it wasn't a slam dunk. It took a long time for us to figure out how to position ourselves to work with Toyota and understanding how they wanted to position the car. And come fall 2019, we got the green light let's build a Supra for Formula Drift. That's when the actual work started. After two, three years of dreaming about it and pushing for it and wanting to make it happen, we had already made a lot of plans and ideas for how we wanted the car to be built. But this was the first time that we actually got to cut into one of these chassis. And when I say we, I mean the team, Paparak is racing. Because while I'm the driver, I'm also quite technical and I work with the team on ideas and design and 
of how we want to modify the car. But they are the guys that actually make it happen. Now, if you watch Steph's build videos, you'll see very detailed uh, instructions and walkthroughs of how the car was built. So I'm not going to go through that here. But what I will say is now that we're about to head into competition, once this coronavirus um, limitations are lifted, what are my expectations? Well, first and foremost, nothing's going to be easy. Formula Drift is one hell of a series with fantastic talent from across the world, all competing for that top spot. And it's getting harder and harder every year. So you can't take anything for granted. Number two, even though we think that this car may be or become better than the Corolla, ultimately, I think it's gonna take some time for us to really dial it in. The car has a low center of gravity. It is the perfect chassis to build on, but there's one thing that I need to, to figure out how to drive around, and that is the quite short wheelbase. Because a short wheelbase will make the car quite snappy. It could make the car uh, a little bit harder to set up in terms of making it stable, but it's definitely something that we think that we can deal with. Thirdly, I think this car is so different from the, the Corollas and the Scion TCs that I've been in for years now that I do think it's going to take some time for me to get used to it. I will sit in a different position. I'll sit further back. The Supra is a two-seater as opposed to the, the Corolla being a five-seater and a cab forward design where the actual driving position is quite forward. Car's going to feel very different uh, because of that. And we've tried to do everything we can to make it feel as similar as possible. That includes using the same style transmission, trying to make the uh, power band feel similar to the 2AR engine we used on the Corolla. Um, it means trying to have the steering feel the same way. We have about the same steering speed, the same uh, front mount rack setup. Hopefully I can get up to speed quite quickly, but that is yet to see. That's it for the rundown on the brand new A90 Supra Drift Car. Let me know what you want to hear more of. Subscribe if you like this stuff and see you guys next time.